हेलो वेलकम डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह दिस साइड टुडे इन यूनिट ट्वेंटी टू ग्लोबलाइजेशन प्राइवेटाइजेशन एंड इंडिजियस नॉलेज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर विद टॉपिक इंडिजियस नॉलेज एंड बायो पायरेसी As can be seen from our previous section, the contribution of the traditional or indigenous knowledge practices to modern pharmaceutical industry and big corporation is immense. Most of these life forms and knowledge, as we already mentioned, are located in the third world countries. More than ninety percent of the Earth's biological diversity is located in Africa, Asia, and South America. indigenous communities which have developed and nurtured such diversity are not acknowledged much less compensated for the material and local knowledge that is taken from them the inequality is the exacerbated by the growing use of the patents which granted exclusive protection to northern corporations and researchers for material or knowledge which originated in the south and what is more a majority of the population of the south rely on indigenous knowledge for their survival a report which was prepared by the ruler advancement foundation in international rafi estimates that 80% of the world's people continue to rely upon indigenous knowledge for their medical needs and possibly two third of the world's people could not survive without the food provided to the indigenous knowledge of the plants animals micro microbes and farming system as vandana shiva points out bio piracy and patenting of indigenous knowledge is a double theft because first it allows theft of creativity and innovation and secondly the exclusive rights established by patents on stolen knowledge steal economic options of everyday survival on the basis of our indigenous biodiversity and indigenous knowledge over time the patents can use to create monopolies and make everyday products highly priced the justification given by big corporations for the patent has been that they lose to a lot of money which they spend in this research development to third world piracy the estimates provided by the royalties lost in agricultural chemicals are 202 million billion million us dollar and 2545 million us dollar for pharmaceuticals however as the ruler advancement foundation international in canada has shown if the contribution of the third world peasants and the tribals is taken into account the roles are dr- dramatically reversed the us owes 302 million US dollar in royalties for agriculture and 5097 million dollar for pharmaceutical to third world countries besides the money involved in the unequal trade patenting of life forms and knowledge is being threat to the very food security of poorer rural communities and the indigenous people Many biotech companies claims that the genetically engineered food will help alleviate hunger and increase food security while their acts of patenting the knowledge and food that has been developed over centuries itself may be a threat to the food security genetic diversity and in agriculture has been the mainstay of many indigenous communities and the rural communities of the south 
in fact the reason why there has been so much of biodiversity in the south has been partly attributed to the sustainable agricultural practices of small farmers and communities these communities have over the centuries acquired knowledge about plants seeds and breeds which are best adapted to agroclimates pests and so on this has contributed to the greater availability of food even though climate aberrations and changes farmers in semi arid regions of the india at one time knew the particular variety of crops to be grown which are drought resistant the same region now see an increasing disaster of failed crop production and suicides by farmers to understand some of the nuances as articulated by the vandana shiva who is the leading activist fighting for biodiversity and the rights of the small communities here we want to close this lecture thanks for listening